One of the simplest upgrades you can do to your computer is simply adding more RAM. This will oftentimes speed up a lot, especially if you have an older computer with not very much RAM at all. Um, but it'll also do a lot of things such as like help you run more programs um, and do a lot of stuff like that. And guys, it's very, very simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys um, how to add RAM to um, both of these desktop computers. Um, these are both older, but it, basically it should work pretty much any kind of normal desktop. It should work just fine. The first thing you're going to need to do, however, is find out what kind of RAM and how much you need. Okay, so really simply go to, uh, there will be a link in the description, it's a website called Edge Tech. Um, this is a company who sells RAM. You don't necessarily have to buy the RAM from them, but they're a pretty good resource to figure out how much RAM you need for your computer. So simply type in whatever the name of your computer is, be as specific as you can, um, and it will, should pop up what kind of computer, and it will say like what type of RAM you need, for example, maybe like PC-133 if you have an older desktop, etc., etc. It will tell you what kind of RAM, it will tell you the maximum you can put in there, and then it will also tell you how many slots that it has available, stuff like that. It's a great resource. I definitely recommend check that out. Um, figure out how much you need, what type of you need, and then buy it either from them, from Amazon, from somewhere else. It's not a big deal. Okay guys, so now that you have your RAM and you're ready to install it, there's just a couple things you need to know real quick. Obviously guys, it needs to be unplugged. <laughs> I hope that goes without saying, but I'll go ahead and say it anyway. Make sure everything's unplugged, um, mouse, keyboard, everything at all needs to be unplugged. And you know, l let it sit for a few minutes. You're not in a huge hurry. Make sure that there's no electricity you want to run through whatsoever. Just make sure that you're safe. Um, another thing is, if you see right here, this your computer might have a seal. Uh, now, if it's an older computer, you don't have to worry about that. Usually, these seals are there so that they can tell, like, your warranty if you've gotten into the computer and tampered with it and, you know, mess with it. Um, so, guys, if you have a newer computer, and especially if you see one of those seals, that's a pretty good indicator, you might want to be a little bit cautious, do a little bit of research and see how to do it, um, if you can go ahead and do this without voiding your warranty. But if you have an older computer, likely you do if you're adding more RAM to it. If you have an older computer, then that's not going to be an issue. So, just do your research. So anyway, guys, the way, to, the way to open up a computer is very simple. Every computer is different. Um, but for example, this computer, this top panel comes off. Or, well, it's the it's when you lift it up, but I flipped it over on the side to get at it. Um, guys, this is very simple. Usually it'll be a panel like this. Um, look around your computer. For example, you see I've got these two screws. That kind of tips me off that that's how to get in, and you pull it with that. Um, but just guys, look at your computer, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Look, it'll usually either be the top or the left or right panels. Um, so just look at it. Um, in this case, it's very simple to get at. All we have to do is just unscrew these screws, and we don't even need a screwdriver. So that's great. So we just unscrew these two. And like I said, that has a seal on the side. It has a seal on the side. You would have to cut, I, would ha I had cut that a long time ago, but uh, you know, you might have to do that. Um, and then, you guys don't be afraid to, you know, use a little muscle. I'm just going to do it like this. Pull it back like that. Lift it up. And, well, a little dust come off. Um, and there you go. So now you're inside the computer and you're ready to go ahead and install your RAM. Okay, guys, so that computer is how most of them be. There'll be a couple of screws. Um, but if you're lucky, because this is the one I'm going to actually be doing the RAM upgrade on, then it's going to be very simple. Um, so this computer is probably the simplest one I've ever worked on. You just pull this tab back, and it's a little niche right there. You just take it, force, and there we go. We're inside the computer. Okay, so guys, so once you have the case off, you should be looking at something pretty similar to this. Okay, now don't be intimidated by all, you know, the cables and ribbon wires and all that kind of stuff. Don't, wor don't worry about that stuff, guys. That's not an issue. All we're going to be doing is upgrading the RAM. Now, every computer is different, but usually you'll be able to look and actually see at least one, maybe two sticks of RAM. Now, in the case of this computer, it actually does not have any RAM at all installed right now, which is why we'll be installing this right here. Okay. Um, so, guys, most RAM will look like this. Um, different types will look a little, different, a little bit different. Um, for example, laptop RAM is usually much smaller than this, but generally it'll look like this, pretty similar. Okay, guys, so now before we're ready to actually install the RAM into the computer, there's one more tip. Obviously, like I said before, everything's unplugged, but what you need to do is make sure that there's no static electricity. So have something metal to touch, um, and it's really good if you can do it this not on carpet, Especially, you know, not wearing socks or anything like that that could, you know, get yourself static electricity. Because, believe me, guys, inside a computer, one little bit of uh, static electricity can, you know, break a lot of stuff. Anyway, guys, it's really simple. So, let me go ahead and zoom in. 
Um, like I said, guys, this normally is a lot easier um, because you know you can see. But for this example, I don't have any RAM in here. But so as you can see here, guys, this has three slots. Okay, so I'm always put it on the inside slot if you can. So we just flip these two little tabs back. And it's really simple, guys. Just reach in here. And of course, you know, try not to knock any cables loose, but it's not a huge deal. And just, they're usually in there pretty tight. So it might take you just a minute, but there we go. So now it's in. Okay. So just take the two ends and then just press it pretty firmly. And there's one side down. There's the other side down. Then just kind of take it. Just move it a little bit, make sure it's in there pretty securely, and we're done, guys. The RAM is in. Um, now, obviously, this works pretty much the same. All you, you, all you should have to do is press it down. Okay, these should just flip into place as soon as it gets pressed down. Um, if you happen to really force it, you might want to make make sure that it is uh, in correctly because RAM has a tendency to actually be, make it look like you can put it in one, uh, facing forward or backwards. But it always will go in one, one of those two ways. So, guys, don't try to force it. If it's really being tough, just see if you can flip it and see if it fits in that way. But anyway, guys, that's just a quick tutorial on how to add RAM to your desktop computer. Um, it's a really simple upgrade. RAM is very cheap these days. So if you're leading to speed up your computer or whatever, it's a very, very good thing. So I definitely recommend you guys check it out.